Hi everyone, my name is Vasudha. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be doing my bookshelf makeover. I have been thinking of reorganizing my bookshelf for the longest time and today I thought is a perfect day and I'll share the whole process with you. So first we'll take a look at how my bookshelf is from inside at present and from the outside you can see that I'm using only the upper part of my bookshelf for displaying my books. These two drawers are mainly for my craft supplies, my journaling supplies and there are two more cupboards below this which I use for my academic books and notes. So now let's take a look inside. So I have most of my books and my knickknacks, my souvenirs dumped all over here. It has literally become a dumping ground and uh, I have not made any effort to organize my bookshelf in a really long time. It looks so messy and it is in a very bad condition at present. So you can see that I have over here, there are some souvenirs I had got and some gifts I had got. So this one was given to me by my PhD supervisor when he went to Russia. He got this Matrusha doll for me. Then as you know I am a big coffee fan. So this is a coffee cup and saucer and it's a candle actually inside. And uh, that's the photograph of my son when he was too little. And here you have mugs and I have some DIY here and I have a lot of stuff over here which I think we don't need to go any further than that. I have some books behind these books as well and over here also I have if you can see many papers and I don't know what not. So I'm going to take them out one by one and then I'm going to start organizing them. So I don't have any fixed plan in mind of how to go about organizing my bookshelf or a particular image I have in mind or any specific design or an idea. But I know a lot of people like to organize their books by different colors or in alphabetical order. But my preference is to organize my books according to different genres. So that is one criteria I'll keep in mind. But my number one aim is to take out all the clutter from my bookshelf. As you have seen, this is in a bad shape right now. It has become a dumping ground for me. So I'm only going to keep those things which I really like and which I really need. Like Marie Kondo says, what sparks joy and um, also if you have been following my previous videos then you would know that i have adopted minimalism as my lifestyle choice so i would not like to accumulate too many things rather i'd like to get rid of the things which i don't need and over here also i'll be getting rid of some of the books which i have not read in a long time and i know i will not be reading them in the future as well but i had kept them here for ages and also some of the books which I have read but I know I'm not going to reread them so I'm going to make it spacious and I hope that I'm going to just keep it minimum and uh, let's see how it pans out. So here are all my books from the bookshelf. These are much more than I thought they would be. And more than half of my bed is covered with these books. And I have to really think how to organize them. And 
how many will I get rid of let's see but first let's look here how the bookshelf looks when it's empty and it needs a good clean up from the inside so I'm going to grab a duster and make it nice and clean Okay, so now my bookshelf is all empty and cleaned up and the books are all on the bed. So the next step is to sort the books out according to the yawners. Okay, so I have managed to organize my books into different yawners. I have tried my best to categorize them as neatly as I can. So over here I have my pile of poems, over here some books about Delhi or related to city, some books uh, again more on poems over here, some mixed assorted yawner here, some plays by Shakespeare, my non-fiction pile of books over here. And over here I have a pile of books which I am planning to get rid of and here I have books on self-help and so on and some fiction books over here and these I will have to see what I need to do with these knickknacks there are too many bookmarks over here and over here I have some of the books and some other stuff that I have not used but I wouldn't like to get rid of. So this one is by Delhi's Chief Minister. I haven't read it but I would like to. And then this one is by Rohinton Mystery. It's a used book. One of my book club members asked if anyone's interested to take this and i was the first one to say yes but this has been lying in my bookshelf for years and same as with this one but i'm very keen on reading this one so i'm not giving these away as yet okay now let's begin to put them in the bookshelf Okay, so the major chunk of my reorganization is over. I have started placing my books inside according to the yawners and I'll give you a quick look inside before I complete this task. So this is how it's looking now. You have seen how it looked before and I'm putting my books according to the yawners in the last shelf at the back. I have all my non-fiction books and in the front on the left I have put my journals. Then on the second shelf I have on the extreme left corner some self-help books and those are followed by poems and over here I have some non-fiction books by foreign authors and over here I have some books related to Indian history but which are by uh, mostly Indian authors. I can see that over here I have Virginia Woolf, George Orville and even Elaine D. Botton. So I'm going to replace these from here and put them somewhere else. Then on the top shelf, I have some books by Paulo Colo. Then on my top right are some books again by Indian authors. Those are novels. And on the right are quick reads, fun reads, fiction novels, which are quick and fun reads. And at the back are the books which my husband has given me. You can check the link in the description box and you can take a look at that video also and look at how spacious this 
shelf looks i still have a few things to add like my dictionaries and thesaurus and some other stuff and then i'll start decorating it some of the items which are not going back in my bookshelf now and I'll have to either trash some of them or I will have to find a new place for them but they're definitely not going back in over here also I have to sort out some of the stuff and put my memorabilia at a different place now and over here I found a big book of animals if you have seen one of my last videos i actually bought a new book for my son i didn't know that i have one already over here so we must organize our bookshelves regularly so look at that beautiful bright pictures and a lot of information i'm glad i discovered this in my bookshelf and my son will be very happy to read it with me all right so after almost two hours of reorganizing my bookshelf i'm really tired i'm not gonna lie my back is really hurting but i'm also very excited to show you the final product so let's see how it all came out so this is how my bookshelf looks now i am really happy with the spaciousness and how organized it looks now i'm very happy to also not have any unnecessary stuff in here but only books and just some of my favorite keepsakes so i've already shown you what's inside each shelf and this is the final look i have added some of my dictionaries here at the bottom shelf i have used this pen holder to actually hold the bookmarks and over here i have my journals and here i have kept those books which i would like to read i'm not getting rid of these as of now and here i have placed some keepsakes and here as well i use this diy bottle to actually support this book because it's continuously falling so that's the final end result of two hours of hard work and i hope you like it it's a cute little bookshelf i'm admiring it so much and it looks so neat i can actually look at all the books from here i can read their titles some of them which are at the back i know which ones they are because i have read them so i have purposely put them at the back and still i know which ones are over there so that's all about the bookshelf organization for now so i hope you like this bookshelf reorganization video and enjoyed the process with me and i like the way it all looks now so clean and spacious and i hope i won't clutter it more if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also share your own bookshelf makeover pictures if you have any until next video thank you and bye